All right, in this video, I am going to um, show you the seed stitch. And the seed stitch is alternating knit and purls. So the first row, you knit, purl, knit, purl all the way around. And then the second, the next row, you alternate. So you purl where the knits were, and knit where the pearls are and then you just continue to alternate as you go along um so let me add this on this one i've knit the first row just to make it easier um well actually because i just did that other video <laughs> um but it can be easier too if you knit the first row to then to get started with the knit and pearls also using a light colored yarn makes it easier to tell um, what stitch you've knit or what stitch you need to knit next so here you can see that this is straight and this is has a bump so the bump is where it was a purl stitch and the straight is a knit stitch so now I'm going to go into the knit stitch and I'm going to purl it. So in order to do that, I want to make sure that I have the yarn in the front. And with the, um, the seed stitch or any pattern where you're alternating knit and purl, um, it's really easy to get the um, make a yarn over. So you just want to be careful when you're transferring the yarn back and forth. Okay, so I'm going to purl. So I'm going to go in from... Uh, into the front from right to left. I'm gonna wrap that yarn around and pull it off. And then you want to make sure that you bring the yarn into the back. And I'm taking the yarn from um, into the back of the loop. You just want to make sure when you go into the loop that it's open if i were to go into the front it would then make it tight and it would crisscross it make a twisted stitch all right so i'm going to knit that because you may be knitting these differently because um of the way you wrapped your loop and that's totally fine all right so then bring that back wrap it around Sorry, this is very awkward for me because, like I said before, I don't knit this way normally. Bring your yarn in front. Pearl. Oops, sorry for that shaky. Yarn in back. So if, you, if I was to go in here without bringing my yarn, well, it's gonna happen. Yeah, so then I've made like this funny stitch with the yarn over. You see that here? How there's that yarn over? So you wanna make sure that you always bring the yarn forward before you do a purl stitch. Or a knit stitch, because it'll always make that extra loop sorry keep knocking the camera forward okay and so here we are so i just did a knit stitch and i can see this next one it was a knit so now i'm gonna purl just clarifying that i've got my new needle i almost used this one all right, so here we go. So make sure that, sorry. So we're at the transition. Make sure that you bring your yarn in the front. Put your, your needle in. Wrap it around. I know, so even I'm having trouble with this. Pull it tight and then continue on. All right, I'm gonna stop there. I hope that um, answers some questions, clarifies some things for you. And if you have any questions, um, 
just shoot me an email. Okay, happy editing.